In the vast expanse of human history, ethical teachings have always served as the cornerstone of moral societies. Among these timeless principles, the Hadith Qudsi, a unique category of narrations where Allah speaks directly to humanity through the words of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, stand out as profound beacons of guidance. These divine sayings encapsulate the essence of compassion, justice, and integrity, reminding us of the sacred bond between the Creator and His creation. As we delve into these ten Hadith Qudsi on ethics, we embark on a journey to rediscover the divine wisdom that calls us to elevate our character, nurture our souls, and build a harmonious world grounded in the eternal values of Islam. 1. Hadith Qudsi, 17, narrated by Abu Dhar al-Ghifari. Allah, the Almighty and Majestic, said, O my servants, I have forbidden oppression for myself and have made it forbidden amongst you, so do not oppress one another. Explanation. This hadith emphasizes the prohibition of oppression in Islam. Allah forbids himself from being unjust and commands his servants to avoid any form of injustice or oppression towards others. It highlights the importance of fairness and justice in all dealings. 2. Hadith Qudsi, 18. Narrated by Abu Huraira, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Allah said, Spend on charity, son of Adam, and I shall spend on you. Explanation this hadith encourages generosity and charity. Allah promises to provide for those who spend in His way, indicating that acts of charity will be rewarded with divine provision and blessings. 3. Hadith Qudsi, 19. Narrated by Abu Huraira. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Allah, the Exalted, has said, I will declare war against him who shows hostility to a pious worshipper of mine. Explanation This hadith underscores the special status of devout believers. Allah warns against harming or showing hostility towards His pious servants, indicating that such actions will incur His wrath and severe consequences. 4. Hadith Qudsi 20, narrated by Abu Huraira. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Allah the Exalted has said, The son of Adam denied me and he had no right to do so, and he reviled me, and he had no right to do so. Explanation This hadith addresses the wrongful actions of denying or reviling Allah. It serves as a reminder of the importance of maintaining respect and belief in Allah, acknowledging His existence and greatness. Hadith Qudsi 23 Narrated by Abu Huraira The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Allah said, The first of his actions for which a servant of Allah will be held accountable on the day of resurrection will be his prayers. If they are in order, then he will have prospered and succeeded. And if they are wanting, then he will have failed and lost. Explanation This hadith highlights the central importance of prayer in Islam. The quality of a person's prayers will be the first matter examined on the Day of Judgment, and it will determine their ultimate success or failure. 6. Hadith Qudsi, 24. Narrated by Abu Huraira. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Allah said, The fasting is mine, and it is I who give reward for it. He gives up his desire and his food for my sake. Explanation this hadith emphasizes the significance of fasting, which is a personal act of worship done solely for Allah. The reward for fasting is immense and directly from Allah, recognizing the sacrifice and devotion involved in the act. 7. Hadith Qudsi, 25. Narrated by Abu Huraira, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Allah said, Every deed of the son of Adam is for him except fasting. It is for me, and I shall reward the fasting person for it. Explanation Similar to the previous hadith, this one underscores the unique status of fasting among other acts of worship. It is a direct commitment to Allah, and its reward is promised by Him alone, reflecting its high value and significance. 8. Hadith Qudsi 27 
narrated by Abu Huraira. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Allah said, I am as my servant thinks I am. I am with him when he makes mention of me. Explanation This hadith emphasizes the importance of having a positive perception of Allah and maintaining a strong relationship with him. It encourages believers to have faith in Allah's mercy and support, especially when they remember and invoke him. 9. Hadith Qudsi 28 Narrated by Abu Huraira The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Allah said, I am as my servant thinks I am, and I am with him when he remembers me. Explanation Similar to the previous hadith, this one reinforces the idea that Allah's response to his servants is influenced by their perception and remembrance of him. It highlights the power of positive thinking and the constant presence of Allah in the lives of those who remember him. 10. Hadith Qudsi 34 Narrated by Abu Huraira The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Allah said, The son of Adam hurts me by abusing time, for I am time. In my hand are all things, and I cause the revolution of night and day. Explanation This hadith addresses the common practice of blaming time for one's misfortunes. It reminds believers that Allah is in control of time and all events, and that cursing time is indirectly cursing Allah. It teaches respect for the divine orchestration of time and events. As we reflect on these sacred hadith qudsi, our hearts swell with a profound sense of purpose and inspiration. Each narration is a testament to Allah's boundless mercy and His unwavering commitment to guiding us towards a path of righteousness. The ethical imperatives outlined in these divine sayings beckon us to rise above our base desires, to act with compassion and justice, and to foster a community where mutual respect and love prevail. Let these teachings ignite a flame within us, urging us to embody these virtues in every facet of our lives. In a world often marred by discord and injustice, may the wisdom of these Hadith Qudsi light our way, helping us to forge a future marked by peace, unity, and divine harmony.